This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report Today. May 10th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Why should Republican voters trust the GOP? A must-watch video. Fox News reporter Bill Melugan confronts Jim Jordan on the lies of the House Republicans to secure the border. Kudos to Fox News reporter Bill Melugan for going where no Fox News reporter has dared to venture before. Mel Aguin asked the most obvious question on every Republican voter's mind. Why should we keep voting for these cowards and liars? In April, Speaker Mike Johnson and House Republicans voted to send another $95 billion in military aid to Ukraine, Taiwan, and Israel, and nothing to secure our own border with Mexico. This was the last straw for millions of Americans who thought they were voting for politicians who actually cared about America first and the global community second. On Friday, Fox News host Bill Melagoon could not hold back any longer and asked Judiciary Chair Jim Jordan, who was holding the meetings on the open border on Friday, why Republican voters should support Republicans in Congress when they will send $95 billion overseas but not spend a dime on our U.S. Border security. Let's listen to what they have to say. Arizona on the border crisis is going to happen less than an hour from now. For more on this, Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan, uh, he chairs that committee and he's joining us live right now. Congressman, great to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. You bet. You bet. The border has really been out of the headlines for the most part for the last several weeks because of all this drama going on with the college campuses, the war in the Middle East. But still, we're averaging between five to 6,000 crossings every single day. You're out, you're out in Arizona, Arizona right now. What have you been saying? No, you're, no, you're exactly. exactly. Everything you and William just went through is exactly what happens when you, when you make a decision, as the Biden administration did on day one, to change the policies that were working. They decided on day one, no more building the wall, no more remain in Mexico while we evaluate your asylum claim. And when you get here, you will not be detained. You will be released. And you might be getting, might be take three years, as you just pointed out, before they ever make a decision or you have to show up in court. That Then you get this influx. We're on pace, Bill, to get to 12. 12 million migrants coming in the country in the four years of the Biden administration. The magnitude of that number, that's equivalent to the entire population of the state of Ohio. We're the seventh largest state. Uh, that is how bad this is. And now suddenly Joe Biden, because he's close to the election, and this is front and center on American people's minds, he's thinking about, well, maybe we need to change the asylum ruling and how we handle asylum. Proving, as Senator Johnson said, that he could have done this all along. So we'll see what happens. But we're out here today to hear from ranchers, to hear from Border Patrol agents, and frankly, hear from a mom who lost lost two, two children uh, because of this fentanyl issue, um, just to underscore how bad it's gotten. Under, under Joe Biden. Biden. Yeah. yeah. And, Congress, and Congressman, real quick, um, Republican voters gave you guys a majority in the House during the midterms back in 2022, hoping something would be done on the border. Oh, here we go, folks. What's Jim got to say about this? All talk and no action. These people do not represent the U.S. citizen whatsoever, period. Obviously, they only are after money and power. Because I've, because I've had all sorts of press conferences at the border, uh, field tours, uh, border visits. I've been there for a lot of them. But at the end of the day, the House approved $95 billion in foreign aid and nothing for the border. Why should Republican voters trust you guys to get something done on the border at this point? Well, two, well, two things. things. One, we did pass good legislation last year that's been sitting in the United States Senate. They won't take it up. That legislation would have solved the problem because it would have went back to the policies that were working under President Trump on asylum and everything. Yes, but why did you send $95 billion of our tax dollars to three different countries to help secure their borders? 
something else. Second, I didn't vote for that package. I thought that was the wrong way to go. I thought we should have tried to leverage that board aid to get something on the border. What I advocated is simple. Use, use the power of the purse. Nobody can be used to pro uh, process or release into the country any new migrants. That's what we should have done. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the votes for that. But uh, we need President Trump in the White House. We need Republicans in control of the Congress. So we can enact H uh, House, House Bill 2 that we passed last year that would solve the problem. And Congressman, you have certainly been highlighting the issues down there at the border. I saw you and Yuma down there last year, so uh, we thank you for that. We'll keep an eye on your field hearing. So, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely no answer. Why did the GOP send $95 billion to Ukraine, Taiwan, and Israel and give no money to secure the U.S. southern border? What a catastrophe. These people, quote-unquote, elected officials, they're supposed to be, well, representing the citizens. It's government by the citizens for the citizens, or it was supposed to be. Please let me know how you feel in the comments below. God bless each and every one of you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.